I mean, honestly, if you wanted Clinton to win, you had to be thinking about who... I mean, like, of course Clinton had the better... had the popularity vote, but of course we all knew that Trump would have won it. Hello everybody, Next Evolution Gaming here, and today, uh, it's two days after the election, and, uh, looking back over it, we're noticing, I was noticing, I was looking over the votes, and I'm a bit, uh, satisfied that, uh, the person I had wanting to win and won it, which was Trump, but, uh, honestly, both all candidates from the beginning did a, put a very good job into what they were going to do. It just turned out Trump was the person everybody wanted. And, uh, and, uh, but the actual vote count was 288 Trump and about 219 Clinton. But both candidates, Clinton and Trump, did do a good job. But again, Trump was the person everybody wanted. So let's actually get into why this is going to be a bit... I know. As I was saying... <coughs> I don't really know what to say about this, because a lot of people wanted Hillary to win. And it's just like how everybody wanted Romney to win back in 2012. He was the more popular vote, but it was Obama that Obama had more of the electoral votes, and and the people that not only let me uh, open another tab here. 2012. Electoral results. Cause I can show you exactly what happened here. Oh, great. Uh, for sure, if I can do that. Yeah, let's look at. Yeah, cause most of the states that look that went this is exactly this is basically the same results yeah basically he's Yeah, because the same people that voted for Obama four years ago voted for Trump. It So, you can't say that people are racist or sexist. Or even homophobic. Or whatever the heck that understands it. It doesn't matter who you voted for. It's It doesn't mean that you're this one thing or the other. It just means that you voted for the one person that was going to actually win. In this case, Trump. But no offense to the Clinton supporters, but honestly, it's the presidential, the presidential election is basically one of the biggest controversial things in America. It doesn't matter who wins, there's always going to be some negative reaction. And even then, there's going to be a positive reaction. It doesn't matter. It's going to happen no matter what. And even then, the whole entire office, the whole entire 
the legislative, the executive, and the judicial branch are all were all swept by Republican nominees. So basically, we have a whole entire Republican office, which means that America is basically going to be saved. No offense, but again, no offense to all Democratic people, but I have my opinions, and I'm just going to say them now. Not to be rude, but everybody has their opinions. I mean, some people can understand where I'm going. And it, it, no matter where you put it, Donald Trump won. I mean, it's going to be a while before people are going to start accepting this, but Donald Trump won. You have to figure this out. And this was actually the candidate that, again, I wanted to win. Because looking at the last times that Clinton was in office, I mean, sure, Bill did a lot of good things, but at a cost. And no, I'm not trying to diss Bill Clinton here. But... But other than that, these are just my thoughts on the election... And in conclusion, Trump was the winner. And it doesn't matter who you voted for. Every candidate did put a lot of effort and work, and they did a very good job. But Trump was the guy that came out on top. Now... I'm uh, using the Google resource for this, oh, for the election results, which, in this case, aren't really all that well, because I was watching C the CNN map yesterday, and Trump had fully taken Arizona, and Michigan was still a battleground state. It wasn't really decisive. But looking at these results, Trump won by a landslide. And it's gonna these next four years are actually I think will be a lot of change for America. I mean, right now you have Trump and Obama met a few hours ago talking about transitions between presidents and then you have uh, Trump making trade agreements with a lot of international leaders and uh, oh, oh, I can see a lot where people are skeptical I mean like Trump is a businessman he's never had any military experience or even political experience, but he is the businessman in in America. Basically, is a giant business. No matter where you put it, America is a business. So, with that, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, thank you for watching. I guess if you like what you saw or agreed with what I said. Subscribe if you haven't, leave a like and a comment, and I will see you in the next level.